Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Review Buzz, and today I'll be talking about this beautiful 642 5 shot by Smith & Wesson. Um, I've had this gun for about a little over a year now. I'll be talking about how much I paid for it, uh, what I like, what I don't like, some of the modifications that I've done to it, um, the holsters that I have, and uh, some of the speed loaders that I have, which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and a small, I guess, unboxing video of what comes in the box. Um, so please stick around. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys, so this is, uh, like I said, Smith & Wesson 642 revolver. Uh, I still have the original box. I've had it over a year now, so pretty straightforward. An all blue box made in the USA, seal number, stock number, stuff like that, Smith & Wesson 642, I'll tell you right here, revolver, 38 special, plus P, um, the barrel is 1.875, blue box, and printed on 40% recycled paper, if you care. So now this isn't exactly how it was packaged, but for the most part, it's pretty pretty straightforward on these, and it's real simple. Uh, so they'll throw in these two little locks, like these little keys, to lock the revolver. Stick them in there, and you, I believe you just push that little button right there, and I believe it just locks it. You won't be able to pull the trigger. Um, I've never used them, and I don't really see myself using them anytime soon. I usually keep these locked up in a gun in a gun cabinet. And also, they throw in this little cable lock. Like I said, I never use these. It's still in the packaging. I've never even pulled it out. Um, but you know, if you do decide to use these, it's pretty simple. Um, stick it down the barrel, it even gives you a little picture right here, and you lock it. Um, other than that, uh, that's what usually comes in the box, and obviously the actual revolver. Um, so we'll take a look, it says Smith & Wesson 38 Special Plus P um, on the barrel, that's engraved, and then uh, do a little safety check right there, right, five shot, there's nothing in there, um, it has a serial in there, and I'll say 642-2, not sure what the dash two is for, um, I know it's a bit dirty, I gotta, I gotta clean it, I'll probably clean it today, went to the range last week and I just haven't had time to uh, really touch up on them, um, but this one's a five shot, and I know they have some in it, uh, six all the way to eight I believe don't quote me on it but something like that um, but this one's a five shot um, I've done some minor stuff on it as you can see changed the uh, grips on it to uh, kind of like a wood laminate feel um, they feel good they feel nice all right so it'll be these three fingers here thumb and then uh, trigger finger, which is my index finger. Um, this one's hammerless, as you can see. No hammer, so it's not going to snag on anything. This one's specifically for uh, concealment. Um, it's a bit dirty. See here, it's got the Smith & Wesson logo. Um, let's see, we'll turn it over. The sight's pretty straightforward. Now, they, these aren't for long distance shots. These are for pretty up close uh, shots. So, you know, this is, you know, up and ready and close gun. Um, you're not shooting far away with these at all. Um, so, here you'll see the logo. It says A weight and the Springfield, Massachusetts, Smith & Wesson, USA. Um, so some of the things that I've done to this, as you can see, the biggest one being the grips. 
or the most noticeable at least, um, these grips I believe are from a company called Alt Altmunt or something like that. Altmunt. Can't I can't remember exactly what the name was, but I'll put it in the description, and uh, I'll have a link to their uh, to their website. Real nice grips. Um, I want to say I picked them up for about forty. 50 bucks possibly um, they're they're nice grips and you get what you pay for so they're definitely higher quality um, real e easy to install let's just take a little flat head screwdriver and twist out the old grips and then you put in the new ones and then these it's two separate sets so one side and then the other side you just kinda clamp them together screw them in and it holds them together um, you don't need a, any special tools or anything like that to throw these on. Um, also, the other thing I've done to this is I've changed the um, hammer spring and the trigger spring on these, or on this one, uh, with the Wilson Combat uh, spring kit for J frames. Um, real, real cheap uh, upgrade or modification. It was like ten bucks. Um, plenty of YouTube videos if you're not too familiar with guns on how to change those out. It's really simple. Um, it could probably be done in like 20 minutes or something like that if you don't know what you're doing. Um, did that. Great upgrade. Uh, the trigger uh, comes with three different springs. I believe I put the middle spring on there. So it'll tell you in the packaging, you know, if you want a you know, real stiff and hard uh, trigger pull put this one in or if you want a lighter put this one in or if you want the lightest one we have to offer put this one in so it gives you three different ones three different trigger springs and one hammer spring um, and it make, uh, makes a huge difference from the stock spring that it comes with from Smith & Wesson um, it's just night and day uh, you can't not feel the difference because it's it's so much better and I'm probably the best upgrade I've done to this thing um, because the original trigger spring is just a bit too hard to uh, pull uh, at least for me um, and if you get one of these you might agree um, so that was definitely one of the best modifications I've done to this um, and it's really cheap it's like 10 bucks or something like that um, definitely worth the money so there's that and some of the other things I bought for this are these. Let's see if you can see that. These Bianchi speed strips. Um, I can't remember where I got these, but I'm sure they have them on eBay or, or one of the other websites online. Um, these are for uh, 38 special or 357. So you just load up your. It comes with uh, five in here. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me, six. It comes with six here. Put six rounds in here. Um, they're speed loaders, basically, in a sense, a little speed strip loader. So, you know, you'll have all five rounds. You'll pop this open, and you'll stick, for example, two. Then you'll pull it, turn the wheel, two, and then that one. Um, and then you're ready to go for another five shots. Uh, these, of course, I had to get myself a Azula gun holster from uh, their website. Again, this was probably like a $30, $40 holster. Really nicely made, double stitched. Um, the clips, still good. There's no, you know, uh, it's not all loose and stuff like that. It's a good quality uh, holst leather holster. Got it in brown to match the grips, and uh, yeah, don't regret it at all. Uh, I've been if you've watched some of my previous videos. You'll see that uh, you know this is the company that I go with when it comes to uh, holsters, and uh, I'm not getting paid by them or I'm not sponsored or anything like that. That's just I really enjoy uh, these holsters and how uh, you know they carry and stuff like that and how the gun fits. Um, it doesn't fit too too tight, but it's also not too loose in there, right? It's just snug, and I, I like that because it's straight out, straight in. There's no major hesitation. I'm not 
yanking on it or nothing like that. So great holsters. Check them out if you haven't already. Revolvers are just uh, reliable, right? Yes, you're limited to a certain capacity of five rounds or six or seven or eight, but uh, specifically for this one, you're limited to five rounds. But if you carry, you know, two of these, right? You're at another five or six per strip. I usually carry five. I know there's six slots in here, but I usually carry five. So you're at 15 rounds, right? Two with the strips, or excuse me, 10 in the, with the strips and uh, five that are actually uh, loaded in. Um, and it's a really, it's just a really good gun, reliable, it's lightweight. Um, when I carry, you can't even slightly even tell that I'm even carrying a gun on me. Um, and it's, you know, it's not gonna snag because it's hammerless. Um, and it, like I said, it, this is more for an up-close, uh, up-close shots. Uh, I wouldn't, this isn't really at all for any long-distance shooting or anything like that. Um, but for up-close, this is great. Um, this is a great beginner's gun, you know, pistol gun. If this is your first pistol that, you know, you're carrying around, um, it's a great gun. You, literally, if you aim this in the direction you're trying to shoot, it'll hit your target so it's it's pretty straightforward um, there's no safety on this other than the little key hole where you can just push it in but uh, other than that if it's not locked there's no safety it's ready to go right there you know pull it out of your pocket you know so it's good in the front pocket um, and a purse this would work um, diaper bag stroller you know, in the center console in a glove box, this small and compact. And uh, a lot of people buy these for concealment, and that's exactly why I bought it. Um, I do carry it here and there, but not a whole lot. Um, but for what it is, it's a great gun. I picked it up for, I want to say around 400 bucks with a $50 rebate from Academy. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, and the main reason, like I said, I got this is just reliability, right? It's nothing less than 642. If you have any questions, let me know. I picked this up at Academy for around 400 bucks. Um, let me know what you think, what you think about it. Um, if you own one of these or if you uh, have any questions, let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I usually do a couple different gun videos. Um, I'll have a couple range videos coming up here soon. Uh, so please let me know if you'd like to see anything else or if there's any other things that you would like me to cover um, I do reviews on all sorts of stuff not just guns food uh, some traveling um, and just different things uh, if you guys want to see anything I live in El Paso Texas so if you have any questions if you're planning on moving here if you're military and you're going to Fort Bliss soon or something like that let me know I can answer some of your questions um, maybe I'll do a military video soon, um, stuff like that. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.